Right, I wasn't going to record this, but and I, I'm sorry if it's noisy, but I'm on the M1 and I'm on the M1 South now, trying to charge my car. I've got 20 odd miles left in it. Um, and this is just another electric car video to bring you an update. So I'm sorry if it's noisy, it's just my phone. I haven't got my camera. I was on the northbound carriageway and I went to grid serve and they're out of order on the northbound. So I put in the nearest one, it's brought me back down to the southbound services on the opposite side, again grid serve, and now this one here is not charging. The other one on the left is out of order, the one on the right's not charging. I'm left with 20 miles in it now, because I thought I was going to charge there. So now I'm in a right dilemma. So this is actual real life living with an EV, an electric car. Absolute nightmare. There's a petrol station over there. Obviously it doesn't take petrol. So I thought I'd do a quick update for you. We'll see where we go and see whether I run out of battery or not. Hopefully not. There look, charging is finished, 9%. It hasn't even started. So I've pressed, I press OK and it's not doing it. It's not doing it, so I'll try again. I'll disconnect it. Right, I've reconnected it. Now I'll just press start. And it says charging is delayed until power is available. And there's no power going to it. And if you look at this charger here, out of order, exactly the same as the ones over the road. This is absolute ridiculous. Unbelievable. Right, so, um, as I say, I'm sorry about this, it's on my mobile phone, but I just want to prove a point here when people are saying that EV technology is ready and electric cars are ready. I'm literally now down to 23 miles. It says, please monitor range. As I said, I was on the opposite side of the carriageway there. Come back down to this one. Grid, uh, grid serve, if you're watching, your network is terrible. Uh, this one doesn't work. The ones over the road are out of order. So now I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to try BP Pulse. Uh, I don't know whether you've got a register for that one, so I'm going to go to BP Pulse, which is in 3.4 mile. Uh, so I'm going to go uh, replace destination, and I'm going to go there the and, route is being and, calculated. and see whether that works. But all of this, now I need to be on the northbound carriageway, and I'm going all about the place to try and refuel my car, or recharge my car. And yet people are saying, or your EV fanatics are saying, oh yeah, it's ready, it's ready. It's not, this is what you get. I'd have literally have just pulled in, got some fuel and gone straight to the motorway. Now I'm not, absolutely ridiculous. So come on, onward, stay with me and let's see how it goes. Right, so now I'm back in my car. I've got 23 miles left. I'm now on the southbound carriageway to try and get to this next destination to, to recharge. There's now a traffic jam. It's saying, please monitor range on please here. Please turn off to the left all after this three quarters of a mile and then follow is now the getting me all, for 160 towards Leicester. It's getting me all on edge, all uptight, and all this and you're gonna say, oh, you should have planned your route. I did plan my route to so that grid serve one there. And then it, the, then it got me to the grid serve on the southbound. So, by the way, if you haven't seen this channel before, do hit the subscribe button, show me a little bit of support. It doesn't cost you anything. I do um, reviews on electric cars as well. I do food and travel, but I throw a few of these electric ones in. Um, now, just a massive jam now, look at this. Unbelievable, and I'm down to 22 miles. Stressed out. Yeah, and they're saying, that in a few years time it'll all be electric what is it by 2030 or something not a chance not no they've got bob hope right so now um i'm going to leicester where i don't need to be going i need to be going to nottingham uh, so this is working out really well isn't it uh where am i going now uh I'm going to go right at the roundabout all this stressing me out completely stressing me out Unbelievable, yeah, it's going to be 2030 and we're all going to be electric. After whole, 300 yards, leave the roundabout at the fourth Not a exit. chance, not a chance. I, I'm, I didn't really, 
I didn't really have my cameras on me today, so this is not planned. It's basically, I thought, you know what? I'll just show you the stress that I'm having at the moment. Now, I could be, I could be back home. I have no idea where I am now. I'm going towards Narborough. I'm just following the, uh, the, the Porsche Taycan sat nav here, which is taking me to a charger. Uh, it's saying in another 0.8 mile. None of this is planned. None of it's for views. None of it's for YouTube. I haven't got any cameras with me. Didn't plan this. I am literally just thought I'll just charge up on the way back from filming something. Out of order. I mean, unbelievable. Completely unbelievable. And yet, we're the network, the actual infrastructure on electric cars is nowhere near ready. And if the government actually wants it to be ready, they need to pull the finger out and put some money into it and get in getting a proper infrastructure and proper charging stations along the way, the same as they're doing with, uh, with petrol. It's just, it's not going to work otherwise. It's time to pull in here and literally it's just a street so I don't know what this is doing now so now I've gone past where I need to go I'm gonna to have to turn around I don't know what's going on here I'm just so stressed out now I'm down to 19 miles it's, this is just crazy right I've now pulled over at the side of the road I'm trying to use zap map oh that's out of service now we've got zap map there out of service Narborough issues reported so now I'm down to 18 miles I'm, I'm literally I don't know what to do now I could go to that one Miller and Carter uh, available how many miles is that um, I'd have to try and get there Miller and Carter this is crazy I'll see you in a minute right so I'm going to be ports again it's taking me now back to the one where I thought it was down a road it's actually in a Miller and Carter um, who knew a BP ports I would have thought would have been in a BP station or something but it isn't it's supposed to be in a Miller and Carter this is what zap maps taking me to as well um, so now I'm going through to Miller and Carter and hopefully because if this one's not working then I'm stuffed and this is all getting me stressed out now and the last thing that you need to be doing when you're driving is getting stressed out. I'm in Leicester or Narborough, wherever I am, and I should be in Nottingham and I could be home now. Yet you're still going to get, and, and I'm talking to you EV people there, you EV people who fly the flag, you fanatics, you're going to go, oh, he's not planned his journey. I did plan my journey. I'd got 20 odd miles left in my uh, charge, in my battery, yet it was out of order. And this is the issue that you have. So this is the problem that you've got so then it takes me down to the southbound carriage they're out of order now we're here look at miller and Carter. So here i go now turn try not, left try into destination street there we go we're in here in miller and Carter. right so hopefully you have reached your destination yeah, here it is. the destination is on the left side of the road bp pulse now we just hope this one works 50 kilowatt great that's going to take a while then isn't it? let's have a look Right, okay. Oh, I need to get my car closer. Admittedly, I've not pulled it far enough forward this time, but they could make the lead longer, couldn't they? So I'm gonna move forward. Bearing in mind, by the way, look how low the spoiler is. Right, back in the car again. Gotta be really careful now. Spoiler's really low. Don't wanna hit anything. Here we go. Come on a bit closer. Okay, that's about as close as I can get. Let's try again. This is fun, isn't it? We're all going to be doing this by, uh, was it 2030? Uh, I could have got forward a little bit more, but we should be all right. Right, okay, we'll go guest. So you can be a member or guest. We'll click guest. Here we go, pricing scheme for guests. It's more obviously for gas, but I'm not going to sign in and start being a, a member or anything. I just want some fuel. 56 pence per kilowatt, uh, 15 pound credit reservation and a one pound 50 minimum payment. Let's do Apple Pay. I 
I'm going to click accept. Here we go. Fingers crossed, your card has been detected. Now, welcome your card. I've got a tick, we've got a green tick. Now, I guess while I'm waiting around for the next, oh, select my charger type. Uh, it's that one, there we go. Three different charger types, you see. Connect your vehicle. I've already connected it. I've already connected it, it's connected. There we go. Safety checks are being carried out. See, three different types of charger that you can have. So there's one that's already in there, look. And you've got this one, and you've got another type there as well. So it's a bit it's a bit like, remember VHS and Betamax, and, and then the, uh, the disc or whatever it was, the laser disc. This is basically the same. So only one is really gonna win, isn't it? Although I guess there's Mac and PC. But why don't you just have the same charger? Just have the same plug. It makes no sense. Safety checks to, oh, so we've got some, I think it's charging now. Right, we're at seven percent. Right, so I guess, what time are we on? It's now four o'clock, so I'm gonna hit rush hour by the time that I get to go back up to Nottingham. Um, I guess now, well, there's no cost to, I guess now I have to go and have a filet mignon or a steak while it's charging or run over to the Mirko garage over the road there um, and play Frogger to go and get a drink. Unbelievable. So I'll, I'll let you know. It's four o'clock. See how we go. What am I up to at the moment in here? It is. For it. 7%. 18 miles, 7%. See how it goes. Right, okay, so it's now 25 past four, nearly half an hour. I'm up to 26%, which is about 60 odd miles. Let's go and have a look and see whether it'll get me home. Here we go, 69 miles, 27%. And that's cost me ten pounds and eight pence. Right, I think I'm going to risk it now and see whether I get home in time. Uh, see whether I can get home on that. Sixty odd miles should be enough. I'm going to risk it. I think. Do I risk it or do I just wait another five minutes? This is the this is the thing. You see, there's no, there's no coffee shops or anything, and I don't want a steak. I reckon I'm going to risk it. Right, well, fingers crossed, I'm gonna have enough charge to get home. I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated in the car. Right, so I've literally now had to come a mile down the road to get to a roundabout to go back up again. Uh, it's now half past four, could have been home by now, by the way. I'm gonna get all the EV fanatics saying you should have planned uh, and you've done this wrong. I haven't, because I'd planned and it was out of order, the other one was out of order, and this, uh, these are the issues you're gonna get. In and three less, quarters of a mile. Carry on. At the roundabout, take Turn the down. second exit. Turn that down. Um, so basically now I've got 68 miles left, 47 miles to get home. I should be okay, to be fair. Um, but I could have been home now. Um, I could have been home, but we'll see how it goes because it does go down if you if you go over a certain speed, etc. Your uh, your battery power obviously you use more juice. So stick with me. We'll see how I go. But you are literally going to get all the EV fanatics saying I've done it wrong. Standing up for the EV community. This is there is no way, no way on God's earth is this the imminent future. Imminent future. It does not work at the moment. Here is proof it doesn't work. So stick with me. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Um, I know that you EV fanatics will tell me what you think in the uh, description down below. Uh, keep it clean, by the way. This is not for the camera. I hadn't even planned to do this. So I just wanted to get back and edit the video that I'd gone out to film. So come on, onwards. I'm 
just trying to work this out. So ten pounds to get back up to sixty-two miles, but I'd already got about twenty miles in it, I think, from memory. You can look back on the video. I'm working that out at the cost of what it is, and to charge it up on an electric charge point like that, it's actually cheaper if you've got a diesel car. Sarah, my girlfriend, has got a diesel VW Golf, and that goes 550 miles, maybe 580 miles on a tank full of diesel. So that makes this more expensive, roughly, doesn't it? Do the maths, and, or math if you're in America, and work it out. That's more expensive than actually owning a diesel car. I mean, if you charge this at home, fair enough. It is cheaper for now. But eventually, with the, the rising costs of electricity and gas prices, etc., it's going to cost more. It's actually going to cost more in the long run. And the price of these cars are more expensive to start with. So where's the logic? Plus, plus, I think the actual, for the, the eco point of it, I understand less fumes etc in cities and towns but to make these cars it surely still costs the environment it's, it's still at a cost for the environment to mine the cobalt or whatever it is for the batteries I, I don't i don't profess to know but i'm trying to think out loud here and also to get the power to get into it i know some of it will be wind wind powered maybe i don't know pop it in the comment section down below but the only logic I can see is that it's better for the environment in local terms, in the cities, etc. So you're not breathing fumes in. Don't know. Tell me what your thoughts are. But long term, I don't think this is working out to be the answer. There's got to be another answer to it. There's got to be another solution. Because this at the moment is not feasible. And by 2030, I think that, again, don't know the figures, look down below it, Google it, tap it on there. When are they wanting to actually outlaw and stop the sale of petrol and diesel cars? Because the infrastructure is not there at the moment. It, it, and it won't be by 2030. Not a chance. Watch out. Vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Anyway, come on. Onwards. 58 miles left in the tank. Uh, tank in the battery and uh, what have we got on here to get back I think we should make it uh, come on let me just get it here 47 so it's going down you see it's actually got a nice Ferrari there over passing me nice fuel car listen oh probably can't hear it on there the sound of that engine come on onwards I think we may just about make it might just about make it. Oh, 39 miles, 47 minutes. We should be fine, fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm absolutely shattered. Right, this has literally added about three hours to my journey. I could have been home about three hours ago. Uh, it's now come up with please monitor range again. I've got 38 miles left of range, uh, so it says, but it is going down fairly quickly unless I put it on eco, um, or it switches everything off virtually, including your AC, I believe, um, or it turns to turn your AC down uh, onto eco mode. Um, 17 miles left, 37 miles of charge. That's not the reality though, because it will go down significantly if I put my foot down and speed up a bit which i need to do because i'm on the motorway i'm absolutely shattered i'm stressed out and you're going to say why don't i get rid of the car it's on lease if i get rid of it at the moment then i'm, I'm kind of stuck really because there's not a lot else i can get at the moment without paying uh, a little bit more um so i'm just going to keep it for a few more months and obviously keep bringing a few more of these videos and showing you the reality of it really because if you're thinking of getting an electric car this is the reality my friends 
read the comments as well by the way because you're going to get the, the staunch EV people as I say in there going you're doing it wrong you're doing it wrong you are bringing us down yeah. Get rid of the car. You're giving us a bad name. You're, you're going to ruin the future of EV. Have a word. This is the reality. This is not... I didn't even plan to do this video. 35 miles left. Right. Fingers crossed I'll, I should be all right. But I'm absolutely exhausted with it all. Come on. Onwards. Oh, right. Well, funnily enough, I'm back now. It's now six o'clock. I'd got 6% left of charge uh, on the Taycan here, on the electric car. And funnily enough, on the radio, I'd got, I'd got Heart 80s playing. And I'm thinking, please make it back to the office. Please make it back so I can charge. And it got Spandau Ballet playing going, I don't need this pressure on. I don't need this pressure on. I thought, what an apt song. The, the car knows which which song to play unbelievable so now i'm going to charge it up with my anderson charger which is here i'll just show you there look so there's the anderson charger um i'm going to plug it in now but what i've got to say is basically that's added three hours onto my journey so owning an electric car has literally added three hours to my journey and took two hours off of my life because it's been an absolute, I've been stressed out just to get back. I could have been working. Unbelievable. And none of this was planned. None of it's to, to get views, nothing. I just, I'm literally filming on my iPhone mini here. And I just thought, oh, I've got to show you the reality of EV electric car ownership because this is it. It's just a nightmare. It feels like we've been left out and hung out to dry because the government aren't putting the infrastructure in and yet they want to make us all electric by 2030 it ain't gonna happen if you're new to the channel by the way please do hit the subscribe button click the little bell for notifications when i upload videos it doesn't cost you a penny to subscribe to the channel uh, i do lots of food videos travel videos and also i throw a few electric car videos in as well uh, and i'll be keeping it for now um, it's just stressful i'm going to plug it in now by the way and it's six at night it probably won't be charged until about seven in the morning maybe eight so luckily i don't need to go anywhere uh, if i do uh, if i need some food i'll just have to order it in anyway i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye there you go it'll be charged at 6 58 in the morning i've got six percent left and 14 miles there we go 6 58 blimey 13 hours nearly